Hi everyone, and welcome to this guided meditation with me, Espen Hergen. Today we are going to reading from the Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry as we have been doing the for for a period of time now, and it's so good to come together for co-create with ourselves and co-create with each other. Always beneficial for listening and allowing the energy to come through and allowing yourself to feel it and then moving on from there because and there is just an energy that comes through it's just expansion energy in all of this and it feels so free and it feels so good always to to read those words from from abraham so so good so welcome welcome everyone this is fun so It energy energy drink it's good <laughs> so far so yeah this is the book the law of attraction what a great book so let's start my inner being is communicating with me my inner being is communicating with we want to help you remember that you are the creator of your experience and that there is such joy in being deliberate about that. We want to help you remember your relationship with that non-physical part of you, your inner being, who is aware of you and involved with you in everything that you do. You do not remember the details of what you have lived before you came into this physical body but your inner being is fully aware of all that you have become and is continually offering your information to assist you in living in the most joyous way possible in all moments in time. As you emerge into this life experience, you did not bring with you the memory of that which you have lived before. For those details would only serve to distract you from the power of your now however because of your relationship with your inner being you do have access to the knowledge of that broader perspective or total you your broader non-physical part of you communicates with you and has done so from the day you you emerge into this physical body that communication comes in many varieties but all of you are receiving the basic communication that comes forth in the form of your emotion every emotion feels good or feels bad every emotion that you feel is without exception communicate communication from your inner being letting you know in the moment the appropriateness of whatever you are thinking speaking or acting in other words as you think a thought that is not in vibrational harmony with your overall intent your inner being will offer you negative emotion as you do or say something that is not in vibrational harmony with who you are and what you want your inner being will offer you negative emotion and in like manner when you are speaking thinking or acting in the direction of that which is in harmony with your intentions your inner being will offer you positive emotion there are only two emotions one of them feels good and the other feels bad you call them all sorts of different things depending upon the situation that brought them forth but as you recognize that this guidance system which comes forth from within you in the form of emotion speaks to you from your broader all-inclusive perspective you will be able to understand that you have the benefit of all intentions that you hold here today and all the the intention that you emerge into this physical body with 
and that you have the ability to factor in all of the details of all your desires and your beliefs in order to be able to make the absolute the absolute appropriate decisions at every point in time have a beautiful day scott have a beautiful day jan our emotion are for perfect guidance so true jan so true so i can trust my guidance from within i can trust my guidance from within Many people have set their own intuitive guidance aside, replacing it with the opinions of parents, teachers, experts, or leaders in a variety of disciplines. But the more you look to others for their guidance, the more removed you become from your own wise counsel. So often as we begin to remind our physical friends of who they really are, helping them to reconnect with the guidance system that is within them they feel hesitation they have often become convinced of their unworthiness and of their incorrectness so they are afraid to move forward trusting their own guidance their own conscience because they believe that there may be someone else who knows more clearly than they do what is appropriate for them but we want to help you remember the worthy powerful being that you are and your and your reasons for coming into this time space reality we want you to remember your intent to explore the contrast of this wonderful environment knowing that it would give birth to a continual stream of new intentions and we want you to remember that who you really are your inner being or total you or source is joyous in the expansion that you you are about we want you to remember that you can feel by the by the po power of your emotions and in every moment whether you are seeing your current situation through the eyes of that broader perspective of whether you are cutting yourself off from this that source by choosing thoughts that are of a different nature in other words when you feel love that means that we say you are seeing the object of your attention matches the way the inner inner you sees it when you feel hey you are seeing it without that inner connection you intuitively knew all of this especially when you were younger but gradually most of you were worn down by the insistence of those older and self-described wiser others who surrounded you as they worked hard to convince you that you could not trust your own impulses and so most of your physical beings do not trust yourselves which is amazing to us for that which comes forth from within you is all that you may trust but instead, you are spending most of your physical lifetime seeking a set of rules or a group of people, a religious or a political group, if you will, who will tell you what is right and wrong. And then you spend the rest of your physical experience trying to hammer your square peg into someone else's round hole, trying to make those old rules, usually those that were written thousands of years before your time fit into this new life experience and as a result what we see for the most part is your frustration and at best your confusion and we also have noticed that every year that there are many of you who are dying as you are arguing about whose set of rules is most appropriate we say to you that overall all-inclusive never changing set of rules does not exist for you are ever changing growth seeking beings if you, your house were on fire and the firefighters came with their truck that marvelous equipment with the with a big long houses houses and all of the water searching through and spray their houses 
horses into your house and extinguish the flame, you would say, indeed, that is more, that is most appropriate behavior. But if on a day when there was no fire, those same firefighters and the same horses were to enter your house, spraying water around, you would say, indeed, that is not appropriate. And so it, it is with the laws that you are passing relative to one another. Most of your past laws and rules are not appropriate to that which you are now living. If you had intended growth, you would not be here in this physical life experience. For you are here as an expanding, ever-changing, growth-seeking being because you want to add unto that which you understand. And you want to add unto all that is. If that which was figured out long ago was the ultimate then there would be no reason for your existence today. So Jen, we each have our own personal guidance, that's true. And each person has their own unique new path. Yes, and we are on the leading edge with our own path. A path created by our asking, yes. And happy beautiful day, Mary Ann. Happy beautiful day, Mary Ann. Okay. And yes, we are allowing always flowing forward. We are always becoming. Always flowing forward, always becoming. So true. Because we never go back from who we are. We're not looking for backwards things to moving forward. We're moving forward in the now and, and still moving forward. That's how we how we actually are from our inside perspective, from the inner being, from the unconditional from within, from the energy what we feel, the feelings from within, and we feel good. So there is nothing that has preceded us that is more important than right now. Yeah. I'm wishing you also a, a fabulous day, Marianne. So good to have you here. So let's moving on. Wishing you all a fabulous Friday. Yes. How how am I getting what I'm getting? How am I getting what I'm getting? At first, or insistence that you are the creator of your own reality is met with a joyful acceptance because most people long for the control of their own experience. But as you come to understand that everything that is coming to you is being attracted by your own fault, you get what you think about whether you want it or not. Some of you feel uncomfortable with what seems like the overwhelming task of monitoring thoughts, sorting them out, and offering only those that will yield things that you do want. We do not encourage a monitoring of thoughts, for we agree that will be incredible time consuming and cumbersome. But instead, we recommend a conscious utilization of your emotional guidance system. If you will pay attention to the way that you are feeling, then a monitoring of your fault is not necessary. It's not so necessary. Whenever you are feeling good, know that you are in that moment speaking thinking or acting in accordance with your intention and know that whenever you are feeling bad you are not aligned with your intention intentions in short whenever there is negative emotion present within you you are in that moment miscreating either through your thought your word or your action and so a combination of being more deliberate about what you want, more clear about what you intend, more sensitive to the way you feel, is, in essence, what the deliberate creative process is all about. Oh, this is good. Oh. Good stuff. Ah. <sighs> 
So, embrace the newness of your pan. Yes, all that has preceded us has served us well. Always. So, I am the solo creator of my experience. The big question is that usually comes up at this point of our discussion is, Abraham, how do I know that what comes forth from within me may be trusted? Isn't there someone greater than I, than I who makes all of the rules and wants me to be or do specific things? And we say, you are the creator of your experience and you have emerged forth into this physical body through the power of your desire. You are not here to prove yourself worthy of something else. You are not here because you seek greater salvation on some other plane. You are here because you have a specific purpose in being here. You want to be the liberate creator and you have chosen this physical dimension where there is time and space so that you may finally tune your understanding and then see the benefits of whatever you have created in fall by allowing it, it to come into your physical experience. You are adding to that expansion of that universe and all that is benefits, benefits from your existence by your exposure to this experience and by your expansion. And that you do pleases that which you seek to please. There is not a list of things that are right and a list of things that are wrong. There is only that which aligns with your true intent and purpose and that which does not. You may trust your guidance that comes forth from within you to help you know when you are in alignment with your state of natural well-being. Magnetically, I attract thoughts in vibrational harmony. The law of attraction is responsible for much that is obvious in your life experience. You have coined that many praises because of your partial, partial understanding of this law you say birds of a feeder flocks together you say the better it gets the better it gets and the worse it gets the worse it gets you say this day started out bad and ended up much much worse but even as you are saying these things most of you do not truly understand how powerful the law of attraction really is people are drawn together because it because of it Every circumstance and event is a result of it. Thoughts that are vibrational similar to one another are drawn magnetically to one another through the powerful law of attraction. People who feel a certain way are drawn to one another magnetically through this law. Indeed, the very thoughts that you think are drawn one unto the other until what was once a very small or or insignificant and not so powerful thought may, because of your focus upon it, grow to be very powerful. Because of the law of attraction, each of you is like a powerful magnet, attracting unto you more of the way that you feel at any point in time. As we are thinking and speaking, we're creating. As we are thinking and speaking, we are creating. No other creates in your experience. You are doing it all. You get all of that credit. As you observe your own life experience and the experience of those around you, we want you to understand that there is not a shred of evidence that is contrary to, those, to these powerful laws that we are expressing. As you begin to notice the absolute correlation between what you are thinking and speaking, and what you are getting your understanding of the law of attraction will continue and your desire to utilize your guidance system to deliberately direct your thoughts will increase and of course you will have a much greater understanding of the lives of those around you as well in fact it is sometimes easier for you to see it with others have you noticed that those who speak most of illness have more and more illness have you noticed that those who speak of 
poverty live more of it, while those who speak of prosperity have more of it. As you understand that your thoughts are magnetic and your attention to them causes them to grow in power until eventually a subject of the thought becomes the subject of your experience. Your willingness to pay attention to the way you feel will help you more deliberately choose the direction of your thoughts. It is easy to see the law of attraction that works as you are involved in a conversation with another. For example, imagine that your friend speaking of something she is experiencing and you want to be a good friend. So you are focusing upon her words and listening to the example she is offering about what is happening to her. As you stay focused there longer, your own examples of similar situation comes into your mind. As you then join her in conversation by adding the matching stories of your experience, the fault vibration grows stronger still. Enough attention to these subjects and enough conversation about things you have experienced will bring more of the same kinds of experience to you. And as more and more faults are brought forth related to what you are, do not want, you will eventually find yourself absolutely surrounded by thoughts, words, and experience that are in the, the direction of that which you do not want. You and your friend will now have ever more unpleasant situation to discuss with one another. Now, if you have been sensitive to the way you were feeling as the conversation first began, learning in the direction of what you do not want, you would have been aware of the sick feeling in the pit of your stomach. You would have recognized your guidance, which is essentially saying, you're thinking and speaking about that which you do not want, and the reasons for that warning signal, that warning bell, was the discord between who you really are and what you desire, and what you are focusing upon in this moment. Your emotions indicate your misalignment. Your guidance is alerting you to the fact that while you are thinking and speaking of those unwanted things, you are a magnet attracting circumstances, events, and other beings unto you. And soon, you will have in your experience the essence, the essence of the very thing that you have been speaking about that you do not want. In like manner, if you are speaking about that which you do want, your thoughts will be drawn more unto that. You will draw more people to you who will want to talk about what you do want. And all the while that you are speaking of what you do want, your inner being will be offering your, you a positive emotion to let you know that you are in harmony with and that which you are attracting to yourself is in vibrational harmony with the essence of the balance of intention that you hold. Good stuff. The, deli the delicate balance between wanting and allowing. The science of deliberate creation is a deliberate balanced law. It has two parts. One, the one hand. There is the thought of what you want. On the other hand, there is the expect there is the expectation, the expectation or belief, or the allowing into your experience of what you are creating through your thought. And so, if you say, I want a new red car, you have literally, through your thought, set forth the beginning of the creation of that new red car into your experience. And now, the more attention you give to that thought, and the more you are able to purely imagine that red car within your experience, the more excited about it you will become. And the more excited you become, or the more positive emotion that comes forth as you think about your red car, then the faster your red car is coming into your experience. Once you have created it through thought, and once you have felt powerful, positive emotion while thinking of it, the car moves rapidly into your experience. It has been created, it now exists, and in order to now 
to know how to now have it in your experience. You have only to allow it. And, you're al and you allow it by expecting it, by believing it, and by letting it be. When you doubt your ability to have the new red car, you stifle your creation. If you say, I want a new red car, you begin the creation of it. But if then you add, but it is too expensive, you hold yourself apart from your creation. In other words, you have done the first part of the creating by your wanting, but you have now hindered the creation of that which you want by not believing, by not expecting, and by not allowing. For in order to bring your creations into your physical experience, both parts of the process are necessary. Just because you are talking about the subject of your creation does not necessarily, necessarily mean that you are allowing it. When you think about your new red car and you feel excitement about it, you are allowing it. But when you are thinking about your new red car from a place of worry that you cannot achieve, of frustration that it has not yet come, you are actually focused upon the absence of the car and you are not allowing it into your experience. Sometimes in the early stages of the creation of something you want, you are right on track for receiving it as you are feeling excited about it and are positively expecting it. But then you express your desire to another who begins to tell you all of the reasons why it cannot be or why it should not be. Your friend's negative influence would not be serving you for when you were focused upon the essence of your desire, you were attracting it. But now that you are focused upon the lack of your desire, you are pushing what you want to win. That's it. So, so, so good. Now let's read. I have something. I am a positive emotion. I'm writing this in the tune in tapped internal. I was on the Abraham workshop and I was buying this book and I was like, I'm writing those things down every day, you know, new things. And it feels so good just to writing and allowing and feel the energy because it's always the feeling behind what you are writing. It's not about the words itself. If you are generally speaking and generally writing something and you can feel the words behind what you're generally writing and what you're generally speaking, that's more powerful. You say more powerful, that's the alignment. That's where you, when you're feeling the alignment, that's when the allowingness comes through for what you want to experience for what you're thinking about also. So it's always so good, those things. So this is the 6th of March. I love where I am going. I'm just writing here, so I'm just sharing. I am there, here I am. It's my dreams, you know, I can feel my dreams now and I feel them. I am there, here, I can feel it. I am. I am knowing what I want. I am. I am one with all that is. I am. I am expansion and more to come. I am. I like all my dreams. I love feeling it now and expanding it forward in the new. To me, it feels great to know my freedom, to feel all my dreams and desires, whenever, wherever. I am constantly moving forward in the newness of who I really am. I am. I like calibrating my wantingness. I love feel the feel good emotion in it. To me, it feels fantastic to understand my emotional guidance system. I am deliberate to create my own reality. Wonderful. I am. I like feeling oneness. I love feeling tapped in, turn, tuned in and turn on in my oneness in all that is. To me, it feels really good to look at everything through eyes through source. I am pure love source energy. I am. I like feeling more to come and feel good new now. I love expansion feelings. To me, it feels amazingly good to focus on those things that feel best to me. I am choosing feel good thoughts. I am. I am allowing. I am. I like be and be more. 
I love allowing myself to receive all that I desire. To me, it feels free. I am free in all of this. I am. So, love you guys so, so much. And I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful, amazing, deliberate, creating, funny expansion day. And see you tomorrow. Namaste.